and ready to rig. Here you see the mound, it's mounted at a slight angle, but it follows the long axis of the stem of the tree at this point, and there's no rule that's set in stone that says you have to have the winch mounted you know, horizontally or horizontally or vertically. Um, the fair leads are set up so that uh, if the, winch, the mount is tilted a little bit, the fair leads are still gonna lead the rope into the winch properly. So uh, if the tree's a little funky, you can still put the mount on and feel confident that uh, the, the whole system is gonna function properly. Now the winch can only go in one way. The top of the plate is, mounted, is uh, clearly marked with a stamped lettering on top. And uh, you slide the winch in from the bottom. Pull it up all the way till it dead ends into the, the uh, frame member on top. And then this half inch pin slides in down below and all it does is hold the winch into the mount. All the load bearing is taken up by the solid welded frame. So And you can mount it vertically at two, so which gives you the ability to pull something straight towards your truck. Um, once in a while, it may be the only angle you can get the truck in on, and uh, this allows you to do that, uh, mounting the winch vertically just like it is on the deck of a sailboat. Well, there are times when uh, you really need to drop the bomb, and there are also times when you, you don't need winch power, but you need uh, braking power. And so with every GRCS, we include this all-aluminum bollard. It's made out of Schedule 80 T6 tubing that's four inches in diameter, and it's welded to the same size base plate as the winch is mounted to, so it's, uh, it'll fit both the tree and truck mount. But uh, having the tube, the bollard, open at the bottom lets you put some kind of coolant in there. Uh, here I've got a couple of little ice packs. You can install the ice packs in there. Install it in the mount. 
and you have uh, a little protection against glazing your rope under extreme lowering situations. Plus you could warm your lunch up too. Absolutely, yeah. All right. Well, Jerry, you know that the frame for the GRCS has these rubber feet on the back that you can let you use it on preservation jobs, and they give pretty good traction on the trees that you're doing removals on. But sometimes when you're bouncing big wood into the thing or really cranking something up, uh, it starts to tear up these rubber pads on the back, and the device can move a little bit. Uh, so, in order to get around that problem and make the the uh, device a little more stable on the tree when you're doing removals. We created this accessory for the frame, we call it the visor, and uh, it takes just a few seconds to snap it on. It'll fit every GRCS frame that's out there. We'll lock it into place here with the, we use the same pin that we use for locking the winch in, or the same size pin. Uh, now it's on, and now uh, when we want to do a removal, the tree we're going to mount the device on, if it is the tree we're actually removing, we can make one kerf in the tree, a horizontal kerf, take this visor, stick it right in the kerf, and then the frame actually stays on the tree, so you can, by yourself, just take the strap, walk it around, hook it up, and snug it on. I've cut this saw kerf in the tree to install the winch mount using the visor, the little extension that we can put on the frame when we're doing removal. I'm just going to bonk some of this rough bark off. Get the strap out of the way. I can just set the frame right in the kerf and it'll stay there while I walk the strap around. One man installation, one man operation.